finned surfaces or through extended surfaces. Now, what are finned surfaces? You must have seen, uh, you know, motorcycles, uh, single cylinder motorcycles on Indian roads with finned engines. So, this is the cylinder of the motorcycle engine, and on the outer side you have fins like this. Okay, these are your fins. Now, what are these fins there for? What do they help? They basically increase the heat transfer rate. This means the more fins or the better fins you have, you will increase the rate at which heat is lost from the system to the surroundings. Okay, now what happens is that heat is conducted through a body. Okay, for example, in an internal combustion engine, that heat which is being conducted through the body must be removed from the body by some convection process. This means heat conducted within a body. Okay this is required to be removed and how do we remove it by some convection process okay now for this purpose we make use of fins or fin surfaces okay now the heat transfer from internally flowing fluid to the fin wall is via convection okay and heat is conducted through the fin surface and is finally dissipated to the surroundings via convection so what I have said is suppose this is the cylinder wall okay this is the wall thickness you have combustion taking place inside the cylinder so heat from this fluid goes into this wall via convection okay and this is your fin on the outside this is your fin okay now the heat is conducted through the material and then it is conducted again through the fin surface and this fin will then reject the heat via convection to the surroundings so you have convection taking place from inner fluid to the cylinder wall and then conduction through the solid and through the fin surface and then from fin surface to the surrounding via convection so this is how heat is lost from the fin surface to the surroundings okay now for, for example if you want to increase the heat transfer rate via convection okay because the heat is eventually being lost by convection so we will take into account convection only okay suppose we want to increase the heat transfer rate via convection so what can you do what are your possible options the possible options number one is to increase the value of the convective heat transfer coefficient that is increase the value of h the second viable option is to increase the surface area because the convective heat transfer is equal to H into AS into delta T. Now delta T is pretty much a constant quantity. So you can only play with H and AS. If you want to increase this, either you increase H or you increase AS. Okay, so this is what it means. Now increasing H is not always a practical approach because H depends upon the surrounding fluid. Okay, whatever suppose you have air you have pretty much constant value of h for the air so what we can do is we can only increase the surface area now how do you increase the surface area you increase the surface area by using fins so when you actually use fins you are increasing the surface area okay you are not increasing the value of convective heat transfer coefficient so this means by using fins we increase surface area now what actually are fins fins 
are nothing but extended surfaces these are extended surfaces ठीक है and these are made up of highly conductive material these are made up of highly conductive material and these materials include aluminium okay and these are manufactured with the help of processes like extrusion okay then you can actually weld the extended surfaces onto the uh, base surface etc okay now the fin or the fins are commonly used to enhance the heat transfer rate okay and these actually increase the heat transfer rate from a surface several fold so you have a considerable increase in the heat transfer rate as compared to a non fin surface okay to a fin surface now in analysis of fins what we assume is that let us now write down the assumptions in the fin analysis in the analysis of fins we assume that we are having a steady state operation the process that is taking place is steady state operation okay there is no heat generation within the fins okay so this is zero and the thermal conductivity of fin material is a constant value so these are three assumptions that we actually take into consideration while an analyzing fin surfaces okay now the value of convective heat transfer coefficient varies along the fin length as well as its circumference and its value at a point is a function of the fluid motion at that point okay so if we go on to the one more page the thing that i just said i will write it down that the value of h it depends upon the fluid motion okay at a particular point and it varies along the fin length okay it varies along the fin length this means the value of h is much lower at the fin base than compared to the fin tip so if this is the wall and this is the fin okay now at wall the fluid motion is not much it uh, it has a certain restriction to it due to some geometrical features so the fluid motion is not much therefore the value of h is low at the fin base but at fin tip the fluid motion is much more free so the value of h at fin tip is higher as compared to the value of h at fin base okay so this is something to be uh, remembered now one thing uh, i told you and to do summarize it the reason for this is that because the fluid is surrounded by solid surfaces near the fin base that is some geometrical features which is disrupting the fluid motion on the other hand fluid near the fin tip has very little contact with the solid surface and it encounters very little resistance to flow so over here the flow is much free as compared to flow near the fin base okay now keeping this point into mind adding too many fins on a surface may actually decrease the overall heat transfer because it decreases the value of h okay so if you if this is the surface in consideration and you increase too many fins on it and i'm hoping that the overall heat transfer rate would increase but it would not increase what are you doing you are actually hindering the free flow of the fluid 
there by decreasing the value of h okay so the value of h decreases there is a considerable rise in the surface area yes but that considerable rise in surface area is offset by the decrease in the heat uh, heat transfer coefficient due to convection so you know generally the heat flow will decrease okay